Keep tongue snares unto the most thy ja, Rastafari. Is I, Emmanuel the Nyabingi, um, going to speak to you today regarding director Steve McQueen and so far his two films alleging to portray us in the 70s and 80s. Um, so first of all, a week or so ago, my sister in Connie called me to say that his show was on and I should take it in. Now, I'm somebody who's very select when it comes to black movies. I have a hell of a lot of black movies, but I can't stand black movies that appeal to white liberals or black middle classes. So the type of movies I deal with, like Roots, Malcolm X, Nat Turner, Menace to Society, even um, One Day, Blue Story, bringing you right up to date. Anyway, um, for the sake of supporting I and I people, I started to watch it. Not the one on yesterday, the previous one, a week ago. Mangrove, I believe it was called. And I watched, I watched about 20 minutes of it until this mouthy mixed race woman started bullying and abusing her black partner, at which point I lost touch with reality and stopped watching it. Notwithstanding, yesterday I watched movie number two and the only reason I watched it from start to finish is because of the soundtrack. Um, I've got all the tunes that are on that soundtrack. There's a couple I didn't have, but I know them anyway. And it was nice to hear them all aired on the programme. But the actual content of the programme was terrible. So, the things I'm referring to are, there were two girls, two black girls, kissing each other on the lips in the movie. In all the dances, raves I've been to, and I don't stop rave from age 23 to right up to 59 before COVID, and I'm 60 now, and I still intend to rave once raving comes back. So I've never, in all that time, seen two black women kiss each other in front of people or secluded either way it just didn't happen and it certainly didn't happen in the 70s and early 80s burn that that's the first thing then there's a scene where my man in the dance chirps a black woman and takes like crubs her up neatly in the dance and then takes her down to some garden or beyond the garden and they go missing. So her friend looks for her and she finds them behind this shed and my man's on top of her. Now, the inference there could be anything. It could be that he's raping her or they're just having consensual sex at the end of the garden. Either way, it's not flattering to I and I people. And shit like that did not go on. So to suggest that, you know, <laughs> we have rapists at dances in the 70s and 80s, a man will come to dance to rape woman. Well, I suggest to you that in that period of time, rape was uniformly, nearly, nearly exclusively a white crime by white men. So I don't know where McQueen's going with that. Then there's another scene where the music switches from Lover's Rock to Roots. And they play Kunta Kinte, another tune I have. Bad, bad instrumental. And people get carried away. Okay, fine, I've been to shaka dances and dances like that where, you know, if you didn't know, if you didn't understand the vibration of Roots music, coupled with Herb, then, you know, you might think it was a bit over the top. But for me, it's fine. 
But this portrayal, this guy stripped down to his first to his vest, and he's jumping up and down and rolling around the floor and stuff and rare, rare, rare. And then he gets up and dashes away his vest even and throws it at the next man in the dance and goes back on the floor, rolling around the floor. Black people don't behave like that. Not at all. For a start, if a man, I don't care if a man's having a good time or whatever, if he dashes sweaty flipping vest in your face, right, at you in the dance, you're hooking him up, right? Yeah, you're hooking him up. You can't do that. That's disrespectful. And then for a black man to strip off, rub himself all over the floor, the dirty floor where people have been dancing with shoes on and what have you. No, black people don't behave like that. Right? So, again, negative stereotyping, McQueen. Then you had a couple of instances where black men were aggressive and threatening to black women okay I'm not saying that that didn't happen right but what are you highlighting McQueen who are you working for because to me you're not working for us you must be working for white people so for me these were white stereotypes that McQueen spotlighted in his two films I don't even think I'm going to be watching the rest. I may give them a bly and a shot still. But I'm extremely angry and disappointed with what I've seen so far. You know, who are you, Steve McQueen? You know, have you been to a dance in your life? Do you know Wagwan? Are you in touch or were you in touch then with how I and I used to rave, live, behave? Or are you just bought out by the white man? to shit us, to spread shit on our name and perpetuate negative white stereotypes of I and I people. Ban that. I man give tongue snies unto the most stagia, Rastafari, Slavsiai.